Hello viewers! One of the things just about any car in the world has is a knob or a pair of buttons that control the blower motor's speed. This is needed to adjust how much the car's interior is heated up or cooled down. But what if nothing happens when you press the button or turn the knob depending on what your car has? Or if the blower motor keeps going on and off erratically as if it has a mind of its own? Well, one of the things likely to cause this is a bad blower motor resistor, which is what this video is all about. Let's go! We'll start by checking what you might experience when this resistor fails. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. So now, let's take a look at the most common symptoms of a bad blower motor resistor. Most of today's heater and air conditioning systems come with multiple fan speed settings, allowing you to easily choose how fast the fan works. And the component controlling this is the blower motor resistor, which can fail or short. Should this happen, the motor will most likely get stuck on one setting, usually the highest one, preventing any adjustments. Similarly, if the blower motor resistor is defective, some of the settings might work, while others don't. For instance, you may be able to use lower fan speed settings, but not the higher ones or vice versa. But before jumping to any conclusions here, keep in mind that things like broken switches or knobs can cause this to happen. Therefore, a proper diagnosis is needed before you replace any parts. Apart from working on one or certain settings only, your blower motor could be kicking in and out intermittently, or its speed might change on its own. As a result, you may be getting a lot of air through the vents one minute and none of it a minute later. Such erratic behavior is a more or less definitive sign that your blower motor resistor is malfunctioning. Still, electrical issues such as damaged wiring or loose connectors shouldn't be ruled out just yet. Lastly, we have the worst case scenario. No air coming through the vents at all. And should this happen, you're going to be very hot or cold in extreme weather conditions. Yes, you can roll the windows down, but that's not always convenient, especially if it's raining outside. Assuming a defective blower motor is ruled out as a possibility, its resistor is the most likely cause. Now, you may be wondering how all these symptoms fit in. And to understand that, we'll have to find out what the blower motor resistor does and how it works. The blower motor resistor is an electric part that blocks or resists the electric flow to the blower fan motor. And because of this, the fan speed can be changed from low to high and everything in between. To put it simply, the higher the resistance, the slower the fan goes, resulting in less airflow, either cold or hot. However, you can quickly change the fan speed by adjusting the settings, which alters the resistance and sends the signal to the blower motor. If the car only had a blower motor, it wouldn't be adjustable and you would be stuck using the air conditioning or heater at just one fan speed. Many new cars, however, don't have a traditional resistor as they use an electronic control module instead. Ok, having learned how the blower motor resistor works, let's now see how to check if it's not working properly. And for this, you'll first have to find it. And due to the nature of its job, the resistor will always be somewhere near the blower motor, which determines its approximate location. For instance, this car here has a blower motor just underneath the windscreen, as you can see once the cabin filter is out of the way. And to get to the resistor, we'll have to get inside the passenger's footwell, remove this panel under the dash, and there you have it. That's what we are looking for. But sometimes, however, things are not that simple, and the resistor may be well hidden within the dashboard. If you're having trouble finding it in your car, leave a comment down below. Someone will surely know the answer. Assuming you've given the heating and AC system a quick look and haven't found anything wrong, it's time to focus on the blower motor resistor. This is especially true if the fan fails to work only at certain speeds, as this tends to be a clear-cut symptom of a bad resistor. Still, as always, it's important to do a proper diagnosis before replacing anything, unless you're certain what's causing the issue. Otherwise, you could end up spending money on parts that aren't needed. By the way, in case you're thinking about bypassing the resistor and wiring up the blower motor directly, don't do it. As a professional mechanic, I can tell you this is dangerous and can start a car fire. Instead, follow these steps or any that are found in your service manual. Examine the blower motor resistor and its connector visually. 
While doing so, look for signs of burning or corrosion. And if any of these are visible, you need to replace the resistor and damaged connectors. Yet, you must be sure to splice the wires correctly or you will run into the same problems later on. Next, check the resistance of the resistor with your multimeter. It must read ohms and you want to connect one probe to the common output terminal and the other to the input terminals. Reference your readings with those in your service manual. If infinite resistance is shown, the resistor needs to be replaced because it has an open circuit. Lastly, try to spin the fan by hand and if there's a lot of resistance, you'll probably have to replace it. Also, take extra care when handling the blower resistor, as these things tend to get hot enough to burn your fingers. In the end, we've come to the all-important question of how much will it cost to replace the defective blower motor resistor. Well, as with anything else car-related, this widely depends on the car you have. For instance, if you have a Chevy pickup truck, this part will probably set you back 20 bucks or less. On the other hand, a new resistor for a BMW or Mercedes could cost several times more. The good news is, though, that the resistors are not overly complicated pieces of electronics, such as, say, crankshaft sensors, so you can go for an aftermarket part without fear of it not working properly. However, you should bear in mind that these resistors usually fail because of a bad blower motor. Therefore, in most cases, you should replace both the motor and resistor for a long-term repair. Furthermore, having already located, removed and tested the original resistor, you probably know, or at least assume, that fitting a new one is simple, which in most cases really is. Still, should you choose to have this done by a mechanic, expect to pay anywhere between 50 and 80 bucks for labor costs. Ok, there you have it, that's how you will spot and fix a bad blower motor resistor. I hope this video was helpful and that you have a nice, fresh air coming to the vents once again. If so, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. But if not, a whole lot of other things could be causing the issue. So to continue troubleshooting, check out other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!